I'm kind of just following her. I don't really know if I'm still on Rue de Rivoli or if that even continues. But nonetheless, I'm heading in this direction. We can always figure out what direction this is in a little bit. So narrower, unidirectional. You see some uh, heavy bike traffic on the other side there. They basically have a shared lane over there on that side. Less than ideal. But as chaotic and crazy as this is, because the motor vehicles are not moving very fast, it does not feel that hostile. You do have to kind of watch yourself. The pedestrians are ready to step out. Okay, back up and rolling here. We are going the right direction. We're. Uh, making our way into the uh, 12th arrondissement and uh, down by the Place de Nacional, Nacional and uh, the coulivettes that are down there. There's some greenways down on the 12th that uh, I visited back in 2015. So we're going to head down that way and see one of our challenges here. He has to get to a point where he can actually see if uh, folks are there so another reason why it's a good idea not to have cars because drivers have a hard time seeing <laughs> or at least make sure that they have they are forced into a situation to never turn across a cycle track without first approaching it from a 90 degree angle so that they can actually easily see all right. And as you can kind of notice here, it's a much easier time of it. Folks are uh, Nowhere near as crowded, doesn't seem as busy. You do have to be aware of pedestrians walking out into the lane, but then again, you shouldn't be going that fast anyways. So that all works. So you can definitely tell just by the number of pedestrians on the sides here, this is a much less busy environment here. And as I recall from 2015, this was a very, very chill place. There wasn't a whole lot going on, but uh, yeah, it's also a very beautiful place of the city, part of the city. So look forward to showing that to you. So from 
some of the earlier video and uh, photography that I shot in the morning you can tell that lots of Paris is lacking trees so when you get an area like this a street like this where there's trees it's so very much appreciated and these aren't even all that impressive of trees they're still quite young but uh, hopefully nature providing they will grow big and tall and strong and add some nice nice breath of fresh air to the area as the saying goes trees are the lungs of the city Yeah, it looks like we've caught up to this young lady we were following behind earlier. like we're getting into another big roundabout situation here I believe this is the Place de la Nationale it does not look like there's any provisions for cyclists here that's fine we'll just take this wide sidewalk We're going to be turning down one of these side roads anyways. Not sure which one. I see, I see one with a red cross, meaning motor vehicles can't go that way. But I'm going to bet that we can. So, this looks to be as good as any. Well, let's give it a try. As with most side streets in Paris, there is a very good likelihood that this will not continue straight for very long. That's fine. We'll just kind of maneuver. I kind of have an idea as to which direction I want to go. So we'll just kind of sniff it out. You can see the uh, cobbles there pretty extensive cobbles and we're riding into a pretty bright sun and again about four cars there but drivers were being very patient no real stress Looks like they've got some uh, road work that they're uh, working on right now. Probably going to lay some uh, paver stones into the curb area there. Again, you saw lady there with her push stroller her walker there another reason why it's so incredibly important to have a city that is safe and inviting for all ages and abilities including abilities that are compromised
This looks to be a uh, bike and bus shared lane, 30 kilometer per hour zone. Allee de Valdi. There's definitely an allee that I want to find. Again, what we're looking for is a couple of really cool coulées. Basically, natural pathways, green areas that have been created. There's a few of them over here in the 12th. So, we're going to go look for some. Kind of keeping my eyes open for some indication. And we may have to just look at the. Ah, this might be it. So, take a look at this. This is one of the, the Vert areas, the green areas that have been created in the city. It may have been old. May have been old abandoned railways. Let's uh, let's go take a look. Got a little tyke here. And again, these are just absolutely delightful little uh, places, natural places to breathe in the fresh air. When I was staying in this area in 2015, I would come to stroll through here after dinner, after. Uh, Having a glass of wine, just really relax. And it's such an important factor to have places like this in the city. Far too easy to get caught up in the, the rat race of, of everything. Working hard, the commute, the crush of people, especially if you have lots of uh, lots of tourists in your area, adds a certain amount of stress. One of the features of this, since it used to be a railway, is we do have some tunnels that we get to go through. Hey, thank you so much for joining me on this ride. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. <laughs> much appreciated. Uh, and in this next episode, we're going to explore this tunnel as well as the extension of the Coulee Vert, René Dumont. Thank you so much. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.